Hi, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and well, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today's video, I have a few little, um, very small unboxings I wanted to share with you. I have a couple of lipsticks, as you can tell from the title, and I have a small leather good from YSL. This small leather good has been really hard to find, and I was able to pick this up using my ShopTagger app. So I save things in my ShopTagger, and when they're sold out, and they come back in, I get a notification, so that's how I was able to pick this up. I love ShopTagger. I have been using them for, I don't know how long. I'm very bad about numbers. <laughs> I can't tell you how long I've owned anything. I can't tell you how long I've used anything, but I've been using them for a very long time. My most recent, this was full price. I was hoping to catch it on sale, but my most recent thing that I got on sale, I got two of the Coach Cassie bags for 40% off. So I have gotten several things with them when they go on sale. So let me give you a little tutorial. So if you're interested in finding things that are sold out or getting things that go on sale, um, how that works. To add the Shop Tagger button, you need to go to the Google Chrome Web Store, type in Shop Tagger, and then just click Add to Chrome. And then you're going to have a drop down box and you want to click Add Extension. And it's just that easy and then it will be installed. So then to save an item, just head over to one of your favorite stores, and I'm going to save these Fendi earrings to my shop tagger list, and I'm just going to click on the top on the button, and I'm going to click on the price change, and I'm going to ask for any price change to be notified, and I'm going to put it in my category of jewelry, and then you just click save down at the bottom. So this is my shop tagger and you can see all the categories I have to help organize my shopping and this is bags. When you save something into shop tagger you will get an email or a mobile push notification when it goes on sale or comes back into stock. So you can now view coupon codes at, check, at the checkout if you just click on that shop tagger button and they also have a new cashback feature. So check out the link that I have down below to download Shop Tagger. So now let's get into the unboxings. I'm going to start with a lipstick first. I am such a sucker for lipsticks. <laughs> I have way too many lipsticks. So I have never had any from Gucci. And so I wanted to try something from Gucci. And the name of this one is Hold Your Man, uh, or number 205, whichever way you find it on a website. The top of the cap says... Gucci. I'm not sure if that's going to show or not. <laughs> and then it has this nice little gold at the bottom and then the little flowers all around, which is really cute. And whenever I've seen this pictured, for whatever reason, I don't know, I didn't realize it was like hard. I felt like it was, I don't know, it looked like, um, oh, you know, like the Sephora ones. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but, but it is a hard case and it's really pretty. And the color is a really neutral, peachy nude. I really like this color a lot and it says Gucci I'm not sure if that will show but it says Gucci on the, the lipstick too that was really cute so the other one I picked up from Hermes and I ordered this from Hermes online I think I think I'm not positive but I think some department stores have it if you order from them online expect it's gonna take two to three weeks. It took a long time to get this because of the safety measures that they have um, in practice right now. So the name of this one is Rose Lipstick and it comes in this little outer box and then there's the name there which my camera won't focus but it's Rose Lipstick or number, this one has a number too, 40 and this is the satin finish. So they have satin and they have matte and this is the one I have on. So it comes in this orange box that says Hermes on it. And this I find very interesting. It has a dust bag. Their small leather goods do not have dust bags, but their lipsticks do. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't. It's cute, but I don't get it. So the top of this one has the Hermes logo on it. And then it's like the tricolor. And here is the color. It's quite Right, I put this on with a very light hand because <laughs> I am quite fair, but that is the color rose lipstick. And I thought it would be interesting to show you. I have a Bastia in their leather called rose lipstick. I just thought I would show them to you next to each other. They are quite similar. I knew it was gonna be bright, but I don't know, I like it. 
I just apply it lightly, <laughs> very lightly. And I'm not sure if I've seen this in any of their videos, but it's a magnetic cap. And I think that's so super cool because um, if you've ever had a loose lipstick, I've had a couple in the past where the caps have come off. And even if it's in a cosmetic bag, it makes a big mess. So I really like that. So let's move on to the small leather good. And yeah, I know, I, I said I wasn't gonna buy any more. <laughs> but this one, it's really different than anything I have. And yeah, I've sold a bunch of them, a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so it just comes in this little Saint Laurent box and it has the little ribbon and it has the little, I believe it's cotton, little drawstring dust bag that says Saint Laurent on it. And then of course the little authenticity card there. And it is the zip fragment card holder. That's like a mouthful. <laughs> and there's the back of it. There's five credit card slots and then a zipper on the top. And I meant to bring in my other St. Laurent um, uh, card holder to show you. I'm gonna go grab that in a minute just to show you a comparison. But there it is. And I love this leather. If they made more bags in this leather, I think I would be a lot more interested in their bags. Um, it's like a pebbled, kind of like Chanel's caviar leather, and it is very, very durable. I've had my other card holder for several years now, and there's no wear on it at all. But um, I'm going to put a few cards in this, show you what it fits, and I'm going to grab that other one just to do a very quick comparison. So here is the one that I have had for a very long time. Show you the difference in the red. And this one has four slots and then one in the center. And so this one has the five slots on the back and then the zipper. I don't didn't bring scissors in here, so I have this annoying tag. <laughs> but this one is 100% leather lined, which I thought was really interesting. I was originally looking at like a similar version in Chanel, and the Chanel one was really expensive. Was it? I think it was 750, 650, 750, and this one was 350. And the Chanel one is not all leather lined, like even all the slots, I think they are. They feel like they are. It said 100% leather online, so I'm assuming it is. But I brought some cards in just to show you what fits in it. And I don't carry a lot of cards anymore. I usually bring about no more than five. It's pretty rare. But so I brought a whole bunch out here just to show you what it looks like with cards in it. Get those in. So here it is with all five cards in there. And I like how slim it is. What I bought it for is I'm really using smaller and smaller and smaller bags. And I thought having this part would be a little bit easier to put bills and things like that in there and coins. Whereas this one without the zipper, I don't know, I always find it looks awkward to put money in the center of this one. And so I thought the zipper would be better. I don't have any money <laughs> right now. I have a dollar and it, I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's in one of my bags, I have no idea. But I do have hand sanitizer, it's upside down. <laughs> I do have hand sanitizer just to show you, you know, like that fits in there super easy and you could also fit some bills in there. You could put an extra card in there. So it really, and let me show you, it's zipped. So that's with a card and a, and a hand sanitizer in there. So it holds quite a bit more than the traditional one, but this one just wore so well. I'm just like, I, I wanna say I've had this three, at least three years, I think three years this year. I'm so bad at that. I really can't remember things like that. But yeah, it comes with a little plastic on the zipper. I need to take that off and the logo on the front. But yeah, these are kind of hard to find. And I was excited to get this one. So just needed a little pick me up. Nothing big, <laughs> just something small. <laughs> but anyways, I hope that you have a wonderful day today. Hope to talk to you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.